Hey, what's going on guys? This is Star Blast Studios coming in with a brand new figure review and today guys We're gonna be taking a look at the Dyson model Ichigo Kurosaki from Bleach now I know a lot of people are gonna be very very excited uh, for this release because it is gonna be the very first like I guess you I guess the very first but more so like in, in the scales that people would prefer like high-end Articulated Ichigo Kurosaki figure, you know Bleach is very popular and you know they've made a lot of merchandise off of it They didn't really make a lot of high-end articulated figures So this is gonna be the very first of its Kind, I guess, and it being a part of the third party company release, even though it's like they're not really like official, I'm really, really looking forward uh, to how this figure is going to be and showing this figure off to you guys. Uh, so, as for the box, I actually want to go over a little bit of this. The thing about this box that's really cool is that it actually opens up and it would display the figure in the inside, but obviously the figure's not in there because I have it out for the review, which we're going to get into in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it's like it's really cool. There's like a magnet right, like, uh, right over here on the bottom that you know just connects over there when, when you're pretty much done. And as on the on, on the back of the box, it says bleach on there, so hopefully they don't get uh, any uh, copyright issues <laughs> with this with this actual release of the figure. But anyways, let's get let's uh, let's get straight into this figure and get away from this box already. Alrighty, and here's Ichigo Kurosaki out on display. And honestly, guys, to all of the people that have been needing a good Ichigo figure, this is it. This is honestly like the best thing we can do for right now. You know, it's not a figure that's without its flaws. Obviously, every figure does have its pro its fair share of problems, but this is such a really fun figure that I just really enjoy like posing around. It, it's it's really a lot of fun, but we're definitely going to get into a lot of flaws as this is a review and I need to make sure I get all of the information for people out there. So, one of the things that I I know that a lot of people may have it, I'm, I'm having issues with and other people are going to have issues with is honestly the scaling and this is a 7 inch scale figure whereas something like the Dragon Ball figures are actually 6 inch scale well you know you're probably thinking well maybe it's not that bad but no it, it's here's, here's a Saiyan raise on earth Goku for comparison and you know you can obviously tell like yeah yeah this Ichigo is definitely not going to be uh, like fitting with any Dragon Ball figures if you want to do like some anime um, like sort of like displayments for uh, stuff like that but one figure that may actually fit a little bit better since he is a member of the big three is the variable action heroes Luffy. Now this fits in scale a little bit better with the actual Ichigo. Um, it, like I think the Ichigo maybe is a little bit taller, but it, I think it definitely works a little bit, um, like a lot better when it when it comes to this. And honestly, if you need a Goku that to go with it, I guess you can um, like you can just there's a bunch of Goku figures out there. You could probably find like a seven inch scale Goku figure. Possibly maybe you know what figure eyes. You can get a figurized Goku and like uh, pose and display with this, and then you'll have your like your big three uh, type of setup to go with there. But yeah, I really wish that they would have made this a more more of a six inch scale uh, figure uh, as opposed as opposed to seven inches. But it's not really a deal breaker at all by any means, as this is really the best uh, Ichigo figure we have right now, and nothing really else like set standards. But yeah, definitely an issue that I I, I got to point out right there. Now. If people don't, if you don't know about this, this actual Ichigo is act, is really like a figure that uses a lot of the same um, uh, parts from the Rayoni Kenshin figure that Dyson model made a while back. It actually uses like the same exact clothes. They obviously just uh, uh, use like like different color like cloth, but it's it's the same like engineering put in, into there. I'm pretty sure it's actually like this. It could also be like the same like figure underneath, but like with the head swap, all they really needed to do is change the clothes and. Uh, really, so so um, and so that's why you may find that some of the things aren't as quite as accurate. Like when it comes to Ishigo, uh, these obvi these obviously should not be pants. This is all like supposed to be like a skirt piece, and so it, it definitely definitely is like not something that's accurate. I mean, it's, it's not going to matter too much when it comes to posing and everything like that, as because of the fact that they went with the more pants right, it actually allows Ishigo to get a whole lot more articulation in. in in him, which definitely, like, I think is an added, like, you know, alternative boost to the, uh, the thing. And actually, I didn't even notice this at first, but it looks like Ishigo, uh, has pockets in his pants right there. I, like, that's really, really interesting. Um, I, I, I think I'll have to take the hands out in, in order to actually, like, be able to plug it in, but that's a, that's honestly shot. I didn't, I didn't realize this until, like, I did the review. Like, Ishigo has pockets. Who, who would have known? Uh, that, that's really cool. Um, anyways, uh, in terms of like the accessories that every everything that comes with on this Ishigo, uh, we actually get a very very fair amount. Although there is a couple of issues with the actual accessories 
Uh, one being the facial expressions that come with it. Now, we do get a stern face that comes on the box right out of the figure. Then we also get a more neutral face, look, which looks almost exactly like the stern face. And the, the, the difference between the two of them is like so very, very subtle that I feel like it's really pointless for them to even include this as a facial expression in the first place. Um, we do get a teeth gritted face, which I honestly really, really like. And we also get a smirking face. And all of these faces are really, really well done. They look um, like pretty much exactly like Ishigo from the anime. I really like how they did that. And for the other accessories, we obviously do get a pair of fists, a pair of gripping hands, a pair of like more uh, posed martial arts kind of hands, and obviously a pair of more relaxed uh, type of hands. And of course, what would be an Ichigo figure without his accessory? That is the Zanpak Toe. This is a really nice blade. I think that they definitely get, did a really good job on uh, the blade. You know, in, in some areas in which it reflects light, it definitely looks really, really metallic. I really do like the way that they uh, went with this Zanpak Toe. And then, of course, he also is included with his Hollow Mask. And I really, really like how they uh, used, like, how they sculpted the Hollow Mask. It looks really really good as well now for my second complaint and this comes with another uh issue with the accessories uh is the fact of the matter with the stands now i think that the stand that they included is really really nice um if they did it with a the, the stand it could be reused from the rioni kitchen although i have no idea um they basically made the stand like a like a brick wall looking thing and i really like that um but the problem with the stand is you can't like for the life for the life of me um, I'm gonna put the figure over to the side. I cannot get these get these things like plugged in into the holes in the stand at all. These are the ones that came specifically with the figure, and it's honestly just because of the fact that these pegs. I feel like they're just way too big uh, to get into the socket of, of there, and it's just like it does it, it does not work. And you know, here here's the smaller one that it also comes with. You cannot get that in. And the thing is, is that the same exact thing applies not only to just just that, but also like uh, the clamps. Uh, that, that go in there like you like you can only get it in for like a little bit but as soon as you get into the part to where uh, it, it secures it in there it just it just doesn't fit now one thing that I did find that actually does work a little bit better with the stands is that if you actually take an official more official like a uh, figure arts um, stand and you take like the clamp off you can actually get a more secure fit on like with the stands it actually gets um, you know it actually gets in there does a the job um, and as for whether or not it, it pegs in to the actual stand itself, uh, yeah, it, this actually goes in. So it really is a shame that they that the stands that they included did, like they just don't function at all. As when it comes to Dyson model, and you know the stands that they've included before, with, like with their um, with their One Punch Man figures, uh, I, those were the those were some of the coolest stands like I've ever seen them like like make. They're really they're really stable and secure stands. And these ones, I, I don't know what's I don't know what's going on. Um, with with that, but that's a, that's just about it with the uh, with the with all the complaints right there. As for the rest of this Ishigo figure, I feel like everything else is absolutely fantastic with the clothes, and there's not really any more issues I can get into other than one point of articulation. This is honestly an amazing figure, and I and you know what? Let's just get right into it with the actual uh, articulation. So. Uh, the head is on a double ball peg, so really, it's going to have a really, really nice range of motion right there with him looking up. And, okay, well, the hair just uh, pegged out, so, um, you know, I might as well show you how you interchange the faces because they do that thing that Dyson model does, which is a really, really, like, weird way of engineering, like, figures and stuff. But they make it so that all of the faces are, like, connected with their own pegs, so then you just plug that in right in there, like, right afterwards. And then I guess because I, I didn't have like the hair like connected in as securely that it came out probably due to me like messing around with the hollow mask and stuff. Uh, which actually, hold on, that's something I should show up before I even get into the articulations that you can actually, uh, what you can do is you can actually like wedge the hollow mask sort of in there because it's not actually meant to do this. And I wish, I really wish they would have done that, like made a face so that if you, you have, um, like you make a face for the figure that's meant for like him wearing the mask over but like you can sort of wedge like the mask uh, on Ichigo like this by using like the hairs and it's definitely not meant for but I feel like it can work in a lot of shots but let me just let me just take this out put it right back over there and get the accessories he has like this floating piece over here as well um uh the way that they did the hair was really good okay but yeah back to the uh, articulation like yeah double ball peg in there you get a lot of range um the clothes 
I actually find that, you know, it's it can be a little bit tough sometimes to figure out where the joints are because you really just gotta, like, try to feel the figure for where it is, like, where, where some of the joints are in there so that you don't, like, accidentally, like, uh, twist the arm and break anything. But just so I, I would advise being a little bit careful with that, but otherwise it hasn't, I haven't really run into any major troubles with it. Um, but yeah, like, the arm does do a full 360. I'm not obviously gonna do that because it's gonna mess with the clothes, you know, double, double joint arm right in there. And there is a bicep swivel built in as well. Uh, you do have a you, ha you do have a ball hinge over here on the hands, and mine does have like a little bit of QC issues when it comes to when it comes to like this specific left hand, where it's just like if I'm using it, it can sometimes tend to like split apart. Or and this this also happened a couple times when I was like interchanging like the hands. On this hand, however, I have not really had that issue at all whatsoever. So it's just like an uh, like a small issue I'm having with this hand. I'm not really counting that as an issue with the overall figure. I feel like it's just something on my copy specifically. So it's not a big deal that I'm going to be considering that I'm going to say, oh yeah, this is going to be a problem with on your copy of the figure. Um, the, uh, the, if he can move this far back and this far forward. He does have like a waist joint in there, but obviously you're not going to want to be having him using it too too much as the clothes are going to be giving him a little bit of a hindrance um he can do the splits really really like not really too far but really far enough to where you're going to get him into some acrobatic type of moves um he, he the legs go this far forward um and this far back so pretty darn good right there in the legs he does have double jointed knees which you know it goes in fairly well as for the feet it goes down it goes up he's got really nice ankle pivot but no toe articulation Although it's not a deal breaker by any means, I just feel like the toe articulation could help in a bunch of poses when he's trying to use his Zompak toe. But overall, everything else with this Ichigo figure, I'm honestly just really, really impressed with Dyson model for what they were able to make over here. You know, just other than the, the couple of issues I have with the scaling and the um, and the weird choices of the facial expressions that they applied with uh, with the two with the two Ichigo faces, I, I think that the figure. Overall, it's just really fun to pose around, and I don't have any like issues with anything on here, like being too tight or too loose, as you've seen on here. So, I think it's absolutely a really fun like figure. And if you're an, if you're a fan of Bleach, I definitely would recommend picking this up, as you know, it's a it's really the best Ichigo figure we have out there right now, and this one has definitely given us a very very um like good Ichigo figure, like absolutely. You know, and for the price point, you know, pick you, you guys should pick it up. So before I end off this review, I I want to give a huge thank you to my friend uh, Solo Train who actually uh, picked this figure up for me. It was part of a little trade that we did. I sent him my old Gogeta custom, and in return, and you know, like he got me this Ichigo figure off 5K Toys, and I just now got it in the mail. So I'm really really happy with it. Thank you so much, Solo Train, uh, for this. You know, shout outs to you, man. Uh, link to your channel will be in the description down below because you're the man, dude. Anyways, guys, that's been the review of the Ichigo. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed uh, the review overall. And, yeah, uh, you guys, ch uh, check out my social media. Link will be right here on the uh, in the description below. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the comment section. Till then.